you've been bitten by a vampire and blacked out. Will you be able to escape or be taken? <laughs> yes. Today I'm reading another chapter of Love Me, Bite Me on the Spotlight app. If you didn't see the first one, I'll put a little link to it right here. It was crazy. It was kind of wild. It was funny. I got a kick out of it. This girl is like deathly afraid of vampires. She doesn't, she's not about Halloween. She went to the movies with her friends. They saw a flick and she wasn't about it. So she's going home. She's all scared and guess what happens? Her biggest fear comes true and she's cornered by a vampire. She, the classic horror movie happens to this poor girl. Her car breaks down. She's in a weird spot. She's like, hello, is anybody there? The vampires get her. She gets bitten. First off, she's anemic, by the way. So when the vampire bites her and takes just a little bit of blood, he's just having a snack. He's not trying to go for a full course meal. He wants a snack, but her anemia, she's like passing out. He's trying to use his magic power. He's like, I'm gonna erase your memory. You won't remember this. And then, but it's not working. And she's like, I'm anemic, you asshole. And then she blacks out. And here we are. I had to see what another chapter of this was about. Plus it's October when I'm recording this video. I don't know if it is when you're watching this, but it is when I'm recording this. So I want to see what happens, but if you enjoy this, please consider giving the video a like as it helps the channel out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already, and without further ado, let's start the drama. Okay, she's waking up. Where am I? No, wait, this is not my car. Vivi, what have you done? I haven't done anything and stop calling me Vivi. I was very confused when he said Vivi. I was like, isn't his name Vincent? But I guess he's Vivi now. If you haven't done anything, then why is there a human girl in the back? See, Vincent, yeah, okay, you, you've clearly done something. What's that? What's this? Are you bringing her home for a late night snack? Uh-oh, I'm here, hello. What, good morning, everybody. Shit, uh, well, I guess in their case, good evening. Shit, she's waking up. Let me out. Are you insane? Sit down. Oh, Vincent, I mean, okay. In her defense, y'all literally snatched her, have taken her against her will, and is in her a random man's back seat after he just bit her neck. I think she, I, I don't think she's insane for this. Let me out of the car now. Calm down. Where are you taking me? Um, that's a good question. Hello, I'm talking to you. Your snack is so loud. Why are we taking her with us? Because her memory isn't erased. He's like, what? I can't erase her memory. I was hoping you'd try, but she passed out. Oh, don't be laughing. This isn't funny. It kind of is. Let's see your memory power, Joel. She's out here like, yeah, Joel, let's see your thing. You look at the car door handle. Let's just dump her body somewhere. How about I dump your body somewhere? I need to figure out how to get out of here fast. Yeah, hello. You know I'm still back here, right? I'm, I'm right here. Okay. What the heck is wrong with this girl? She can't just shut up. You should bite her. Maybe she'll pass out again. Bite me and I'll bite back. Test me again. Oh, really, Joel? Take the steering wheel. Um... Well, we were just kind of bluffing, but what are you doing? I'm used to the one that does the biting. This should be interesting. You're insane. I knew you were bluffing. No, oh, I'll show you. Good, by the way. I like it on the neck. Okay. All right, Emily. We're in an awkward situation. I guess you're going to have to. All right, here it goes. <laughs> um, yummy. Here we come. Hello, I'm here. That tickles. Do it again. You're sick. I hate to interrupt, but I'm a bad driver. What can you do well then, Joel? What can you do well over there? Uh, where where are we? Where are we? I can't believe we actually just went in and we're going to try to bite a vampire's neck. <laughs> you know what? She's brave. She's brave. Our girl did that. What? Where are we? You get out of the car. You're not where I'm going to escape? Oh, I count on it. Now get out of the car. What? Okay, Vincent, gotta be so demanding. Joel, go see if you can wipe her. Hold up, don't come near me or or you'll what? Oh, gotcha. 
we're, we're not, we wouldn't actually do it, let's be honest. Take your chance to find out. I can't imagine Emily doing none of that. I can't promise you nothing is going to happen. I'm under a lot of stress right now. Don't try us. That explains why you threw a tampon at me earlier. You understand then. Who knows what my fist and feet will do? You know, she's kind of funny. I like her if she weren't trying to attack us. Joel, sweetie, um, y'all abducted her. <laughs> You bit her on the neck, took her blood, and then abducted her. What do you mean I like her if she wasn't trying to attack us? You did this, Joel. Let's get this over with Joel. Her up and wipe her. Yeah, Joel, let's see your magic powers. It ain't gonna work. Wipe me. It'll make you forget we exist, love. Humans aren't supposed to know about vampires. Vampires are real. Um. D- um. Okay. Your last couple hours. Okay. My point exactly. Why can't I get kidnapped by unicorns or fairies? You don't want to get kidnapped by fairies, love. They're mean little beasties. Are you serious? Fairies are real too. Gosh, humans are fun to mess with. Don't worry, this won't hurt. Yeah, Joel, looks like he, that was it. I don't feel any different. He talked his big game in the car, and here we are, Joel. What a surprise. Why isn't this working? Mm. Mm. Damn, we're going to have to take her in after all. Okay, you get back in the car. You know, I will have to say, Emily, Um, I'm, I'm surprised the second time around she didn't just try to be like, where, where am I? Who are you? Like, I'm surprised she just didn't fake it because I, they were going to let her go. If she forgot. But now since she doesn't forget, she's going back to their gorgeous looking mansion. So. But then we get the car. Very unique. We're here. We could just kill her. Honestly, that would be the easiest solution. Excuse me. He's just messing with you. It's not funny. You tried your thing. You have to take me home. I'm not feeling so well. Well, if you tell me you were naked before I bit you, I wouldn't have bitten you. You didn't give me a chance, did you? Maybe your brother Sebastian can fix this. Let's hope. Come on, let's go. What? Oh, it's nice in here. It's nice in here. Welcome to the home of the Ruth first. She's like, oh, this is my new place. She's like, wow, it's gorgeous. I'm going to be a little princess here. Oh, is this the king of the castle? Oh, it's... What is all the commotion and why have you brought this delightful young lady? We can't... We got a bit of a problem. We can't erase her. Hello? What do you mean you can't erase her? Everyone doesn't believe the situation. You feel like... The memory can't get erased, people. That's anybody's guess. Hey, do you think maybe she's not human? No, she tasted human. Dang you with just the hints of watermelon. If only you could have had a sip. I'm still in the room. My apologies. They tend to get carried away. What's your name? Thanks for asking. Unlike these two over here, my name is Emily. Nice to meet you, Emily. I'm Sebastian. I'm sorry this is happening, but quite frankly, it's a big problem. Vincent, we're going to have to tell mom and dad. No. Okay, who's this? I can hear you guys through the walls. There's a human here. Not the best time, Fiona. She must be their sister. Your human doesn't look so well, brother. That's not all. She has a weird odor on her. No, I don't. Can't we just hide her until I can figure out what to do? Mom and dad are going to find out either way. They're going to be home soon. I think you should get this human cleaned up. Clean up? Why? I don't smell that bad, do I? The king and queen are strict. Presentation is everything to them. Oh, that's for sure. Believe me. What if I don't want to? I strongly suggest you do. Come on with me and we'll put you in something that's more appropriate. Yeah, thanks. I'm going to have to stick with what I have. All right, just make sure you bow down when you greet them. Okay. Look who's coming. Mm. The king and queen. We bowed. What is going on here? Why are all you gathered in the... You brought a human to our house? She looks disgusted. She's like, you brought a human to our house? With this family, why am I not surprised? Human, why are you... 
<laughs> like no one calls us Emily. She's a human. Ask them. They kidnapped me. Yeah, right there. These two men right here, they kidnapped me. Your children. What? No. Oh, so you're saying I so happen to be brought to this mansion by my own will. Mm -hmm. If yes, then I shall leave by my own will. Dear, what's your name? Emily, your majesty. Please call me Luella and my husband here is Solomon. You don't look well, dear. Why don't you get settled in your room? A oh, room I'm not planning to stay. Couldn't dad or Sebastian try to erase her memory? May I, Emily? Sure, if it gets me out of here. Just don't erase too much. Is it working? Is that the first step? Do you have to do something else now? It didn't work. Why didn't it work? All I know for sure is that she's anemic. The rest is a mystery. This is highly unusual. She must stay here until this gets resolved. I've got to get out of here sooner or later than one's going to try to kill me. I had to do something. We're making too big of a deal out of this. She's just a lousy human. Let me deal with her. You won't get much blood from this scrawny body. They're not buying it. I won't tell so. I just want to go back to my life and you can go back to yours. I just want to go back to my friends and family. Please, I beg you. I won't tell anyone what happened. I promise. I'm afraid it's not that simple. Being able to wipe humans is crucial for our survival. If we can't do that, it's a big cost to worry, but we won't hurt you, Emily. I promise you that. So, I, I, Sebastian's a little bit more trustworthy than the two that got us. Are one of us our love interest, Vincent, who I customize. Like, I want to go for Sebastian at this point because he's so classy. He's being real friendly and caring. And he's like, I'm sorry. It wasn't like these two back here who were just attacking us. Guys, the human doesn't look well. Fiona, no, we're not. We're not well. We've gone through the most tonight. We've been abducted. Our neck has been bitten. Our blood has been taken. Our memory can't be erased. We don't like vampires in the first place. We're scared. We probably got to use the bathroom. Maybe we have IBS. I don't know. Like, we're having a night. Yes, you've said that, Fiona. No, I mean, looks like she's going to keel over. It's not my fault that Vincent chose to attack and that I'm anemic. I don't feel so well. The last time I felt like this, I needed a transfusion. We could actually make that <laughs> That's not making it happen. I'm sorry, Emily. I'm afraid we simply cannot let you leave. Oh, goodness. She's crying. What do we do? Why can't we just kill her? No, I won't let you. You just faint. Eh, we need to at this point. <laughs> I love how everybody in the room is like, this is a circus. Kidnapped by a family. Oh, gorgeous vampires. How will you decide your fate out of I don't think it's up to us. It's really not up to us. Find out what happens in chapter three. We, we're going through a lot here. We're going through a whole whirlwind of emotions. Honestly, the story's fun. I actually like the second chapter a lot more than the first chapter. The first chapter was more kind of like, it was so out there that I was kind of like, what, what is going on here? But I feel like reading this one, I, it's kind of supposed to be like that. It's supposed to be funny in a way, kind of like a lot of humor in it. Maybe that's what I'm getting from it. I, or maybe it just is a mess. I don't know. But I, I'm having fun with that. But let me know what you guys think of this chapter. Let me know what you think of the story. Should I read a chapter three? Like I said in the beginning of the first one, this is just a for fun moment, just to make a video, a fun video for you guys for the season. But um, if you want a chapter three, let me know in the comments below. But I hope you guys got some enjoyment out of this video. Thank you so much for watching as always. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.